How many breweries did we go to? Five. How many breweries did we walk out of? <laughs> Three. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys? Tonight we are drinking the 420 G13 strain from Sweetwater Brewing. It is so good. Yes, they're all located in uh, yeah, Atlanta, Georgia. Yes, it's an IPA and it's got a 6% ABV and it is uh, pretty good. I like the can too, it's black. So last Friday you were off work. Yeah. And we decided to uh, take a little venture out to Southwest Michigan. It's like, what, an hour and a half, two hours from our house? Yeah, roughly, yeah, nice little ride. And our first stop, we ended up, well, we ended up going to five breweries in total and we walked out of three and we'll kind of walk you through that whole scenario here real quick. But our first stop was Niles Brewing Company in Niles, Michigan. Yeah, located in downtown. Like an old uh, little, yeah. like a little old Mayberry type of town. Yeah, yeah, and, you know, yeah. Very friendly awesome couple place. were there that I believe own it. I believe um, it was a husband and wife duo. Yes. Yeah, so yes. when we were there, we ordered a flight and we ordered um, a couple of hot pretzels with some cheese dip that were very good. But they yes. have a limited, a limited food menu, but it was... Um, it's more or less kind of bar snacks, yeah. you know, stuff like that. Yeah, but they had some they had some like little uh handcrafted cocktails as well. Yeah, they did. But we didn't drink that. We wanted some beer. So yes. uh we got a flight and uh you could see that here in the video. But um we had the uh green beer which was called Ooze. Codename Ooze. Codename Ooze, yes. And it was good. Uh, I loved it. I love anything that's real citrusy and stuff like that and I don't think you really liked it. What did you give that one? The green one. Uh, I gave that uh, two out of five. Two out of five, yeah. and I gave it a four out of five. And it was green mango orange, and uh, motuka hops. I think that's what it says. Yes, yes. Yeah. And uh, I really thought it was good. So I guess it just depends on if you like that mango flavor. And I just, it was kind of thick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it wasn't like that bad. It just, it was nothing that you'd want to like drink. <laughs> uh, to, have, like, to just order a beer of okay. it. You know, maybe a little flight, a little taster, that was cool. Now but, see, I thought it was delicious know. and I would order it, you know, as, you know, I would order a pint of it or whatever, a yeah. sniffer or something In like that. In my opinion, then again, I don't know if you really want to have more than one. <laughs> it was good, I liked it. And then, um, I mean, when everybody has their own flavor. Yeah, you know, they do. And their own taste. Jeez, their own, yeah. Then we tried the Kawabunga, the code name Kaw Kawabunga. And um, I said that it had a weird flavor and I gave it a 2.5. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, this whole flight that we tried from uh, Niles was, is based on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh -huh. uh, it's all codename beers, Kawabanga, yeah. Ooze. Uh, this is the Kawabanga, you know, I gave it a two. Uh, it was a little hoppy, it just, uh, the end taste, the aftertaste. It had a was, weird flavor it, to it, me. It did, it had the little to it or something. <laughs> Was nothing I enjoyed by a slice, but bit, so no, I wouldn't get another one. And then there was the code name Shredder. I gave that one a 4.5. I thought it was delicious. It had a nice, uh, happy flavor to it, and um, you gave it a four. Yeah, I gave that one a four. That was really, really, really good. It was just, I would have given it a higher rating, but it was just a, a tad, tad bit bitter. Just yeah. a tad, just a tad. Now, see, some of us like the bitter yes, flavor. Yes, yeah. <laughs> And then the dement, uh, the code name Dimension, I gave that a four as well. And that one is also bitter and I liked it. I like the bitter hops flavor. I really do at times. You yeah, know. you know, and that one was bitter too, but I gave it a four too, because that one just had a really nice taste, aftertaste, it was just a good brew. And it then, was, yeah, after that, yeah. we decided to try uh, one of their canned beers that they had from a guest, guest brewery. A guest brewery. Yes. And um, what was it called? Topling Goliath. Goliath Brewing Company. It was a double IPA, and it was called Fire Skulls and Money. It was good. I liked it. I did not like it at all. I thought, by description wise, I thought it was good. It's a Citra Mosaic, Galaxy, and Nelson Hops. It was just very, very, very happy. Just not my forte. And what did you give it? I gave it a one. I gave it a 3.5 because yeah. I really enjoyed the hops and I thought it was really tasty. And the can was really cool too, as you can see in the 
uh, photograph. So that was pretty cool. So we enjoyed that and we had our little pretzels, mm -hmm. you know, and that was enough for one place. So we decided to move along down the line. We figured we'd better go get some <laughs> dinner. And then we decided to stop into Greenbush in Sawyer, Michigan, and they were packed. They had a 30 minute wait. Yeah, they did. It's a really nice brewery though. Mm -hmm. They do have good brews. Uh, they do have good food also. It, the atmosphere inside is really cool. I enjoy it. It is a nice place. It, just, I yeah. wasn't going to wait 30 minutes. We were hungry so, and yeah. we just, I was buzzed, you know. Yeah, I, 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 I needed beer. <laughs> yeah, so we took off from there. So there, that's the first place we left. And then we decided, you know, we've always been wanting to stop at this place called Seeds. Now, mind you, we usually go to Southwest Michigan on Saturdays or Sundays when everybody and their brother decides to go to Southwest yes. Michigan. So this yes. was the first Friday afternoon we've had, you know, to go there. And it was so yeah. much better. Like there was hardly anybody there, Nothing you know, in a lot of different bad, places. Except for except Green Bush. For, yeah, except for Green Bush. <laughs> Always. Yeah. And um, so we went to Seeds and in Union Pier, Michigan. But unfortunately, they were closing soon. But that place was cool. Yeah, looking. they were closing in like 10, 15 minutes, if that. And uh, it is a non-IPA brewery. And you know, believe it or not, it was it, it, the brewery itself inside, phenomenal, beautiful, modern. Mm -hmm. um, it was all like wood. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it had the forest woodsy cabin kind mm -hmm. of feel thing to it. In the, in the back behind a, a brewery, it's like a house kind of right off the road. and. They had the fire pits and Adirondack chairs for everybody to sit in and all that good stuff. I mean, mm -hmm. it was really nice. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we will be back. To come yeah, back well, they beer. had a lot of fruity beer or fruity beers and different things that was made yes. with seeds as opposed to hops. Yeah. Okay, so we walked out of there. Then the next place we stopped was Beer Church. Yeah, New oh, Buffalo. Uh, ooh, ooh. We never really wanted to go there that much. We always wanted to check it out just to see what it looked like, but... It kind of is a tourist oh, trap. Oh my, tourist capital uh, <laughs> is right there. Where In it's New at. Buffalo, yes. Michigan, yes. And uh, it's just like a bunch of hoity toity. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was not yeah. our kind of forte. No, no. And the menu was... Uh, the menu was nothing I've ever wanted in my entire life. Yeah, nothing, nothing uh, sounded good. Sounded good, a description, or anything. It yeah. was overpriced and yes. we weren't interested, so we walked no. out. See ya. Yeah. And then we ended up at Cheers in Chesterton, and uh, that is in Chesterton, Indiana, and that was great. They have great barbecue there, and yeah, they have a... They it's do. actually a brewery. It's Chesterton Brewery. And... Um, I had a barbecue chicken sandwich and fries and it was out of this world. And the last time we were there, I had a barbecue pork, it was good. And what yeah, did you have? I had the barnyard burger. Mm -hmm. uh, bacon, pulled pork, cheddar cheese, and a fried egg. Ooh, that's one. Ooh, that yeah, sounds yeah, really good, really yeah. Good. Yeah, that's a lot of meat. Yeah. I don't yes. know, that's too yes. much for me, but I, that, it did look really good. <laughs> but unfortunately, they were out of the, um, their IPA from their own brewery. Yes, their hazy IPA, mm -hmm. yes, they were out It was of good it, the last so. time we were there. It was very good, very, very the good. The last time. So we ended up with some, like, just, I don't know, goose head, some bottled beer that we didn't really want. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but by then it had been a long day. So, but yeah, if you're ever in Niles, Michigan and you want to check out a fun and friendly brewery, check out the Niles Brewing Company in Niles, Michigan. I highly recommend it. Their beer was really good and they change it up all the time. So it's always going to be different. Everybody who walked in the door, they were calling them by their first name. Yeah. Everybody say hi to Jim. Everybody yeah, it was say like, hi to Jim. Everybody yeah. say hi to John. It was, yeah, it, it was nice. It was it, really nice It was place. a really great place. It was place. really nice, comfortable, awesome atmosphere. Definitely go back there again. Yeah, 100%. Yes. I give it a five out of five. Oh, in general, the whole the uh, brewery. brewing itself, yes. Niles Brewing, five Two out of five. Thumbs up, yeah. five out of five for sure. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely be back again. Yeah. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.